Hey, I'm Austin with PremiumBeat.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at some real-life applications for the warp stabilizer effect. What is it? You may use it all the time, you may have never heard of it, or you could be a purist who refuses to use it entirely. So long story short, it's an effect that lets you remove unwanted camera movement from your shot and post. It's not perfect, it doesn't work in all situations, but in a pinch, it can definitely be a useful tool. We're going to be looking at how useful it is compared to other forms of stabilization. Now, I normally wouldn't shoot something knowing that I'm going to rely on using warp stabilizer in post, and you're almost always better off getting the shot right in camera the first time, but we're human, that's not always the case. But that being said, let's test it out. We're going to do handheld. Handheld with in-camera stabilization and a shoulder rig. So, we just finished shooting our three different setups in the office because we picked a terrible day to film. I just had Logan walking towards the camera. You know, Logan. I tried to hold the camera as still as possible. Uh, handheld, I'm okay. Handheld with in-body stabilization turned out a whole lot better than I thought. With Sony's, pretty good. And then the shoulder mount, the best. First off, let's take a look at our handheld footage here. Pretty shaky. It, it's pretty shaky. Um, it is a Sony a7S II, so it's pretty light. But unless you're going for a handheld look, it's gonna be relatively shaky unless you have the hands of a surgeon. Here's a quick tutorial on how to use warp stabilizer. You're gonna click and drop. Now there is some things you can play around with in the settings, but we'll do that on a later date because this is just really a short comparison. So here we are with the stabilized shot. Yeah, it's pretty good. Footage is a lot smoother. The only real thing you're gonna see in the background is kind of a floating effect. To go from obviously shaky footage to smooth, stable, it's pretty good. All right, moving on to the handheld with in-body stabilization. Let's see. Definitely better than the handheld. When we add warp stabilizer on top of that, it kind of looks the same as doing regular handheld, in my opinion. It's smooth, there's no jitters or shakiness or anything, but you still have the floating going on in the background, uh, especially if you watch the corners, you can tell. With the shoulder rig, you're immediately gonna get rid of all those shakes that you had with the handheld. Uh, there's still a little bit of movement. I probably could have shot it a little bit better, but eh. we throw a warp stabilizer on top of that. It's about what you'd expect. It's smooth. It's got a little bit less floating going on in the background. If you weren't really paying attention, you might even say it was shot on a tripod. Now in videos where you're at an event, a wedding, or anything where you're not running around with a whole camera crew, this is definitely something that could save you a lot of frustration in post. It's not perfect, it's not something that they're gonna show in the cinema, but for the average user among us, I would say this is 100% something that I use and I would suggest other people to use as well. Now this effect is not the end all be all, it's not gonna save your footage, there's a lot of situations where it just won't work, like we shot in this hallway and there wasn't enough to track other than Logan's body and face and kinda looks like something out of the movie It. I know it's pretty basic, but I definitely think it's one of those things that's worth trying out. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you want to check out more content like it, you can check out the blog at premiumbeat.com and also follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Throw us a like, and I'll see you in the next one.